Hello everybody. Well today I'm going to install the AirTac Tactical Stock. It's 3D printed. It's a uh, I mean, if you're used to 3D printed stuff, um well, it's it's not the best, but it uh it it's good. It's it's definitely good. Um, there's a few blemishes here and there, but for the most part, it is pretty nice feeling and sturdy feeling. So we're going to mount it. We're going to try it. It came with all kinds of accessories. Grips. Uh, short dog. LDC. Barrel bands for, for triple tube. Double tube. All the parts. And here's the Avenger. I haven't had it for a long time. I haven't done a video on it because, well, I haven't been doing a lot of videos and there are a lot of videos on this air gun. I can't tell you anything that hasn't already been said a thousand times. It is everything they said it was and more. It's accurate. It is fun to shoot. And I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. I could have went with the plastic stock and saved about 50 bucks, but I really wanted the wood stock one whether it was just for uh, visual appearance or the feel of it. I just didn't want the plastic stock. So I ordered the wood. I got it. We're going to take the wood stock off. It's been on there for a little bit. A month maybe. And uh, we're going to put on this other one. We're going to lighten her up because the wood stock is a little heavier uh, than the plastic stock. I am not going to videotape me taking this gun apart um, because, well... It'll be lengthy, and it'll probably be a whole bunch of videotape of me of having troubles, which a lot of people probably will like, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take it apart, install this all, and then you guys will see it after it's done. I will put a link in the description from um, Terminator Air Gun uh, to where I got this, and they have a... Dana, he does a video that's way better than I can do on how to install this. What you need to do, it's not hard. It's just, there is a few screws, though. There, I mean, there are screws. But he's put together most of it. I don't think I have to take it apart very much to assemble it, but I'm going to. I think I'm only going to need that Allen and that Allen. If I need any more, I have them. But that's it. And we'll see it here in a as soon as I get done, put it together. All right, everybody. I've got the Terminator ATAC stock installed. There she is. I'm going to say it was a little bit of work. Not because it's hard. It's just because, um, well, there's a lot of screws and uh, a little bit of fiddling with the fitment but it went together for the most part pretty damn easy it can't be stressed enough take your time so you do not cross thread stuff and so it just so the screws go in straight i did not have any problems but it took me a little bit to uh do it and it's done there it is Short dog, moderator, triple barrel band, triple barrel band. I added my own little foregrip to the front because I had one. It's 3D printed also, but I like it. It works. It's on there. And yeah, trying to hold it here in front of you. It's pretty centered there without dropping it. And it is light. The only weight I notice is obviously in the front. And um, I was going to do a long air tube. Right here I have another one off of an Origin that would work. So I could have two big air tubes. Dana says um, he must already tried it. He says it adds a lot of nose weight to it. He says it works and it will do what, you, what I want it to do. It says it adds a whole bunch of nose weight. He recommended me to 
lose the two air cylinders and do the bottle upgrade, which I may do in the future. But right now, I think I'm just going to keep it just like that and leave it. Um, this barrel band is tight. It, it, it I may never get it off again. <laughs> uh, it, it's strong, though. There is, I mean, it is rigid now. Uh, the second barrel band that goes right here, I was going to add it, and I tried to add it, but it was so tight. And this thing is so rigid already that I stopped trying to remove it and just took it off. Left it like this. I'm going to leave it like this for a little bit. I'm going to shoot it. I've already sighted it in. Sorry, guys. I didn't do a video of it. But it shoots good. It shoots just as accurate as it did before. Um, the POI changed a little bit, obviously, because um, I did a um, air stripper that goes on the end of the barrel that kind of centers it in there. So that changed it a tiny bit. Put baffles in there. Added the short dog. It's good. I like it. Um, are there some things I would change? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I change, but things I like a little less. Um, right here when you're, like, I'm a lefty, lefty, so my fingers have to wrap around right here. And as they do, this is kind of, kind of sharp right here, kind of has a square edge, you know what I mean? It's not bad, but I mean, you really shouldn't be putting your whole finger in there. You should be, like, more like this so it's not so bad, which is what I'll do. Um... It came with a bipod that mounted into these M-locks. I didn't, I mean, I mounted it and it, I tried it. Um, it's not my favorite because it, it, it moves it so far back that once you move it back there, kind of, and it's sitting on it, it makes it all tip. It's right on the balance point. So it's like, Wee! so I put on one of my other bipods because there's plenty of room, not anymore now because I took it all up with a foregrip and that but if I were to change anything which I don't know if I would or you should but I would probably have extended this out to here and incorporated a barrel band that fastened it to there moving your Picatinny mount farther out or the whole length long and so you can move your bipod out farther towards the tip of the rifle and, of course, that is going to put the weight out farther towards the nose, but it would make it more stable when you're in the bench rest shooting position. This isn't bad, um, but it works okay. He brought, he gave me a, a grip. It was black, um, and I could have used it, and it was fine, um, and I may, but I already had another one of these uh, Fab Industries uh, grips, so I just threw it on there, and it, it went on there, no problem, easy peasy. I'm going to shoot it, guys. More today, and I'm going to make a video shooting that air gun for you all to see in its all its glory. Have a good day, everybody. And I will put a link in the description so uh, you can... Uh, I'll do a link for the install of this It's for from the manufacturer, from Dana. And, uh, and so if you guys want to get it, you can get it from him. And uh, his install video is good. Have a good one, everybody. Till next time. Bye.